This is Radio Nepal. I am Dela Prasai with the news. The headlines first. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda clarifies that no permission granted by the government to establish university in Mostang. Voting center set up for the presidential elections deal to be held tomorrow. Nine party alliance decides to seek agreement on cabinet expansion only after presidential election. International Women Day being marked amid various programs today. And two of the four Americans kidnapped at gunpoint in Mexico last week found dead. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda has said that the problems seen in the country can be resolved only with the joint efforts of all. Addressing a program in Kathmandu yesterday, Prime Minister Dahal claimed that the country was moving on a positive direction, saying he had taken initiatives to address the problems surfaced in the economic sector of the country. Saying he had been in dialogues with representatives from financial and private sectors, Prime Minister the House said exporting of energy was the only means to reduce the trade deficit. He also clarified that Nepal government had not granted permission to open any university in Mustang, excepting that one of the local levels in the district had applied for opening a college there. Voting center has been established at Federal Parliament Building in Ubanishwar for the presidential, le- presidential election scheduled to be held tomorrow. Assistant Election Officer Amrita Sharma informed that two polling stations had been set up at Lotse Hall of the Federal Parliament Building. A total of 550 voters, including the members of the Federal and Provincial Parliament, will be voting for the presidential election. A meeting of the nine party alliance discussed the upcoming presidential election scheduled for the 9th of March. Nepali Congress Vice President and Task Force Convener Puna Bahadur Kharga said the meeting held at the Parliamentary Party Office of the Nepali Congress in Singadarpa discussed topics related to election mobilization targeting the presidential election. Leader Kharga further said the meeting also discussed expanding the cabinet only after the presidential election. Meanwhile, the nine party alliance has urged the lawmakers representing the respective parties in the House of Representatives and the National Assembly as well as all the Provincial Assembly to come to Kathmandu by 11 a.m. tomorrow to prepare for the election. The International Women's Day is being marked across the country amid various programs today. Every year, March 8 is observed as the International Women's Day. President Pitya Devi Pandari has said that Nepal's achievements on women empowerment and gender equality are unique for the global women's movement. In a message today on the occasion of the 113th International Women's Day, President Pandari has made the statement while wishing for happiness, peace and prosperity to all Nepali sisters and brothers at home and abroad. The President expressed the confidence that they would add energy and excitement to all to ensure equality and justice by eradicating all social ills existing in the society as well as all sorts of violence discrimination and suppression against women. A meeting of various parties and groups of the Maoist stream has decided to pause and confront any activities that go against the words and spirit of the Comprehensive Peace Accord. The meeting of the top Maoist leaders associated with the then Maoist party during the People's War decided to move unanimously in confronting any activity directed against the Comprehensive Peace Accord and the political change. After the meeting held at Balwatar yesterday, Today, they issued the statement that all issues related to the transitional justice should be forwarded through the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and the Commission of Investigation on Enforced Disappeared Person. They also drew the attention of the concerned bodies to carry out remaining works of the peace process in a speedy manner. A writ has been registered against CPN Maoist Centre Chairman and Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda 
at the Supreme Court yesterday. Fourteen persons, including Ganendra Raz Arun of Rame Chap, have filed the writ naming the Maoist Centre Chair the Hall as the defendant. The writ has been filed taking over the subject of Chairman the Hall's statement, which he made some time back. The Supreme Court has fixed coming Thursday as the date of hearing into the writ. Minister for Communication and Information Technology Rekha Sharma has said the government has been involved wholeheartedly to take peace process to a logical conclusion. Inaugurating the two-day Community Radio National Conference at Gulchi of Dhadin yesterday, Minister Sharma said the remaining task of the peace process would be taken to a logical conclusion by formulating related laws. She expressed the belief that the task of transitional justice would reach a conclusion as the major political parties have already expressed a written commitment for the same. She further said that the cases of armed conflict era should be concluded remaining within the jurisdiction of the peace agreement and transitional justice rather than of general issue. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda has said sports is an important foundation pillar of the nation's prestige and diplomacy. Inaugurating the 16th Asian Cross Country Championship organized by Nepal Athletics Association under the aegis of the Asian Athletics Association at Gokarna yesterday, he described sports as a strong pillar of international relations, the base of the national economy and the catalyst for developing a culture of labor and diligence. On the occasion, he also reiterated that development of sports in the is the government's priority. You are listening to Radio Nepal 8 AM English News Bulletin. We continue with international updates now. Two of the four Americans kidnapped at gunpoint in Mexico last week are dead and two are alive and now back in the U.S., Mexican and U.S. officials say. Four U.S. citizens were kidnapped by armed men on 3rd of March while driving into the city of Matamoros in the northeastern state of Tamaulipas, Mexico, across the border from Texas. They had traveled there for cosmetic surgery with relatives, told the U.S. media. White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby said the country offer the deepest condolences to the friends and families of those who were killed in the attacks. The FBI later confirmed that two Americans were found dead and that all the two had been brought to American hospitals for the treatment. Russia said it does not recognize the price cap introduced by Western countries on its oil exports after the United States said that the cap was working well. An Al Jazeera report cited Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov saying Russia's economy has proved resilient despite a tough of Western sanctions, but the price cap has complicated its efforts to sell oil globally. Last month, Moscow said it would cut output by 500,000 barrels per day in March in response to the price cap. Now, the general weather forecast for the country for today. Forecasting division says the weather is likely to be partly to generally cloudy in the hilly regions of the country and partly cloudy to mainly fair in the rest of the country. Kathmandu's weather report now. Maximum temperature of 26.6 degrees Celsius and minimum temperature of 10.4 degrees Celsius. With this news, we have come to the end of this bulletin. But before we wrap up the headlines once again. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachinda clarifies that no permission granted by the government to establish the university in Munstang. Voting centers set up for the presidential elections deal to be held tomorrow. Nine party alliance decides to seek agreement on cabinet expansion only after presidential election. International Women's Day being marked amid various programs today. 
and two of the four Americans kidnapped at gunpoint in Mexico last week found dead. Well, that's all that we have for this edition. Our next English news edition is at two in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.radionepal.gov.nb for morning news and online programs. Stay tuned, stay safe and have a good day.